Hey, what's going on, good people? I have got something in the mail today that I'm very excited about that I ordered last week and it arrived from USA Midway. Do you have any idea what this might be? Well, let's open it up and I'll show you. It is my Sig Sawyer P229 SRT kit, short reset trigger kit. And I'm excited about this. And I'm gonna put this into my um, P229. So let me go ahead and grab my weapon real quick and show you what, what, it, what it's actually gonna be going in. And as you can see, safe. I wanna show you all. No round in the chamber. So we're good to go. All right, so what I wanna show you right now is the difference that the trigger the trigger is gonna make. Right here, as you see, I've got it to where it's gonna be a single action because the hammer is caught to the rear. So if I pull the trigger, all right, so let me go ahead and charge the handle and watch how much take up is gonna be here until the trigger actually resets. That's a lot of take up. And look, to get back on point, this is how much play I have until I hit the wall in order to, to for the trigger to go again, see? Show you one more time. Wait for the reset, it's coming. And here's the take up. That's right there at the wall. One of the first things I have to do to get this bad boy situated is, I'm gonna have to take off my, my grips off here. I have to pop it on out. All right, so now I've got my grips taken off, as you see. Once again, weapon is still safe. Now this time I might as well go ahead and remove my, remove my slide from here. So I'm gonna take that one off and put that to the side. So right now I've got my 357 SIG barrel in there, my conversion barrel. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave that to the side. So let's go ahead and get working on getting this uh, getting this short reset trigger put in. All right, let's go. All right, let's get back to what, what I need to do first. So once the slide has been removed, I have to go ahead and there's a little spring lever right here that I gotta get, get taken out. So move that to the side. So I can get it all the way over to get it up. And there that is, that's up. and it moves, all right? So then, now, you most of y'all probably more professional have an actual punch. See the slide there? See the, I mean, the uh, spring? Most of y'all probably have a punch, but I'm just gonna use a drill bit that I saw somebody else use on the video. So, to, there's a little, a little pin that goes right here that goes straight through to the other side. I've already started a little bit there, so I'll go ahead and push that on through. So I can get that all the way on through there. And it's going, going. And it is, uh oh, I heard it, heard it snap, heard it pop. It is gone. But it's not letting me go all the way through though for some reason. All right, so here's my little, there's the pin that was holding that in there. So let me just set that to the side, make sure I don't lose that. Sit it right here, all right? Now, let's see what we gotta do next. Next, we're gonna actually go ahead and get that pin and stuff up out of there, so. All right, well, I already have removed the, removed the, uh, the drill bit out the way, and when I removed it, everything fell out, including the spring. So, I'm gonna move all the original parts to the side, and Let's get to trying to put this bad boy together here, all right?
Now that is definitely a world of difference in that trigger pull. Oh, that is huge. Oh my goodness. Now, I bought the kit from Midway USA for only $45 and plus it was $5 for shipping. So approximately $50 is all I paid for in order to get the short reset trigger kit. Now remember the short reset trigger kit the trigger don't come with it. That's a big uh, misconception that some people actually have when they hear the short reset trigger kit. They think the trigger comes with it. Nope, you're gonna keep your same trigger. But as you see, the reset on my my trigger reset is much shorter now, and my take up is like non-existent almost now compared. Now I had called an armorer just to see how much it would be for them to install it for me, and they said it'd be sixty-five dollars for them to install the short reset trigger, the SRT kit, SRT kit for me, and I was like, man. I really want to pay $65 to have somebody do something I could possibly do myself. It's your chance to learn your, to learn your firearm a little better as well. If you should try to do things like your own a little more. But I'm not talking about anything complicated. When I saw the video and saw how, how pretty much how simple it really was, I was amazed and I was like, man, I can do that. And so that's why I decided to want to go ahead and give it a shot. But definitely want to share it with all of you all because that's what we are about here in the 2A community, sharing information. You know, it's not about who knows it all. It's about who can share information more so than anything else. All right. Anyway, this is Jeffrey Howell. Just want to check in with you all. And I just installed my SRT kit on my P2296 Sawyer. All right, y'all. You have a good one. See you at the range.